Dear colleagues, in this video, we will observe management of two rock hard nuclei. This is the first one. After staining the anterior capsule with tripan blue dye, the anterior chamber has been filled up with 2 percent hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. And now, an adequate sized capsulorexis is being done with the help of a uterata forceps. We must do a rexis of about 5.5 millimeter rexis minimum size. And now, hydrodissection is done with the help of a 27 Gauss cannula and BSS. The nucleus is tapped and the nucleus is mobilized. The anterior chamber is again filled up with 2 percent hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. And now, let us observe the submarine chop technique. The FECO needle enters into the anterior chamber with its bevel down some superficial cortical lens matter and epinuclear matter is removed. Then the handpiece is turned to make the bevel of the FECO needle up and now the tip goes into the substance of the nucleus and goes towards the opposite equator through the substance of the nucleus as a submarine moves through water. And now we have got a very nice crack. Rotate the nuclear mass 180 degree and divide the two heminuclei completely. Now, each heminucleus is being subdivided into three fragments. This one is done. Now, I come to the other heminucleus. This is the first job and then this is the second job. And now, the pieces are emulsified. Ultrasonic energy used is 80 percent in continuous mode. Flow rate is 45 ml per minute. Vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. Each nuclear piece is tilted and the tip is placed just behind its apex and emulsification is started. And see the last piece emulsification of the last piece. Last but one and this is the last piece. At this time, my plan is to keep this epinucleus protecting the posterior capsule and after the nucleus is emulsified, I go to lower vacuum, 400 millimeter of vacuum uh, and 40 flow rate and emulsify this epinucleus. So, we are done with the first case. Now, we are going to see the second case where the pupil was small and a B hex ring has been applied and capsulorexis has been done. The rexis size in this case could not be very big because of small pupil. Size of the rexis is probably 5.25 millimeter. Some superficial cortical and epinuclear matter is removed. Now, the handpiece is turned to make the bevel up. The tip is buried just in front of the main incision. It goes through the substance of the nucleus towards the opposite equator and as it reaches near the opposite equator, the chopper is used to get a very nice crack. 
and now I rotate it on 180 degree, come to the other side, hold on side, that means hold on heminucleus and separate the two heminuclei completely from each other. Now, each heminucleus in this case has been divided into two pieces. This is the first heminucleus. These two pieces are not completely separated from each other and this is the other heminucleus. See, this is the, this heminucleus is divided into three pieces and now the pieces are turned and the tip is placed just behind the apex of the nuclear piece and emulsification is carried out. If we place the tip just behind the apex, then emulsification is easy. Like this. Another advantage is this apex does not go downward and does not cause pressure on the posterior capsule. These two pieces are not completely separate, so I tilt it, apply a little bit of power at the uh, joining, and the two pieces get separate from each other. this nuclear piece is removed. This is the last but one and this is the last nuclear piece. At this time, the parameters are reduced to some extent. During emulsification of the last piece, we can use I will scaffold technique if the posterior capsule tends to come forward, which usually happens when the jonule is weak. So, this is the last portion of the nucleus. There is a piece, nuclear piece at the side port. I could hold it, bring it at the center and emulsify and thus the nucleus management is complete. Thank you very much for your attention.